She confessed the truth after 10 years, but the revelation surprised her back. Once, there was a pretty girl named Matilda. She was born into a family of clerks, which was not wealthy. Matilda had no dowry or fancy belongings, and she married a minor official. Though she dressed plainly and lived in a simple house, she was unhappy and longed for a more luxurious life. Matilda believed that a woman's beauty and charm determined her place in society. She felt entitled to delicacies and luxuries and resented her humble surroundings. She dreamt of grand living spaces, elegant furniture, and fine dinners served on exquisite plates. Her desire for beautiful dresses and jewels consumed her. One day, her husband brought home an invitation to a prestigious event at the Ministry of Education. Instead of being delighted, Matilda was upset because she had no suitable dress to wear. After much persuasion, her husband offered to give her 400 francs to buy a dress, but she insisted it wasn't enough. Desperate to attend the party, Matilda borrowed a beautiful diamond necklace from her friend Madame Forstier. The night of the party, she was a success, admired by everyone. However, tragedy struck when she realized she had lost the borrowed necklace. In a panic, Matilda and her husband searched for the necklace but couldn't find it. To replace it, they borrowed money, compromised their lives, and purchased a new necklace. It took them ten years of hard work and sacrifices to pay off the debts. When Matilda met Madame Forestier years later, she confessed the truth about the necklace. To her surprise, Madame Forestier revealed that the borrowed necklace was just a cheap imitation worth only 500 francs. Matilda's sacrifices had been for a necklace much less valuable than she thought. The story teaches us about the consequences of vanity and the pursuit of material wealth. Matilda's desire for social status led her into a cycle of debt and hardship. In the end, her sacrifices were in vain, as the necklace she lost was not as valuable as she believed.